30 men at the Riverbend Maximum Security Prison have been learning Braille and transcribing textbooks for the Tennessee School of the Blind. Three of the offenders recently earned the highest Braille certification, a ranking only about 65 in the country have achieved. News Channel 5's Claire Kopsky takes us inside the prison. It's still English. We're just learning a different way of writing it. Adrian Gregory has been behind these walls since he was 19. I'm 31. I've done 11 and a half. I've got 14 months, but it's a. Uh, I'm ready to go. It's it's. Uh, it's been a long way. It's going to be emotional walking out that gate. After years of good behavior and with at least five years left on his sentence, he applied for the Braille program. When I come here, I realized what it was and the opportunity to actually make a living doing this outside of here, of these walls. And I, I really appreciate it and look forward to doing it. And I love what I, I actually do love the work. He says he thought once he was released, he'd only be able to work jobs that used his body. But this program gives him the chance to use his mind. Yeah, that's why I've been here as long as I have and I stick with it because Although I may not see the fruit of it now, but I know in the future I will. Deb Kreis has been teaching Braille for more than a decade and helped five men, including Adrian, achieve the highest Braille certification. Every one of them wants to make a difference. Even if you did a bad thing, you may not be a bad person. You just made a bad choice. And you can't sit around and tell people that, but you can prove it with your works and your good deeds. This program provides free Braille textbooks for students at the Tennessee School for the Blind, so far saving Tennessee taxpayers nearly a million dollars every year. The standard has always been, we won't accept anything less than the best from you guys. And to know that and to have that standard and live up to that, they're grateful, they're grateful. It takes a lot off their plate. Years of dedication, learning a challenging language, bringing hope to both families and prisoners. It helps you grow. It is a true growth potential job that it, it builds your intelligence. It uh, like you're helping children, you know, to learn and to do these things and you're learning as well. In Nashville, Claire Kopsky, News Channel 5. Uh, this program began at the prison here in Nashville back in 2019, and so far, five men have earned the National Braille Association's textbook formatting certification, and the program leaders say this is just the beginning.